Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we are going to be adding negative numbers. And of course, we cannot have a class without our student of the semester, and that's Charlie. He better be ready. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? Huh? You've what? been keeping up with the homework, right? Yeah. Now remember, what? if you're not keeping up with the homework what? now, what? you can always come oh. back and do it next semester. Oh. That's right. All right, Charlie, let's go ahead and get started. Here's our first problem right there. Charlie, what's six subtract four? Two. Two. Very nice, Charlie. Now, pay attention here, Charlie. What do I add to two to get six? Four. Four. Very nice, Charlie. Yeah. Okay, let's review our commutative property for addition. Charlie, by the commutative property, two plus four is the same as? Four plus two. Four plus two. Yeah. Very nice, Charlie. Let's do another one. Okay, Charlie, here we go. Eight subtract five, Charlie. What is eight subtract five? Three. Three. Very nice, Charlie. Now, what do I add to three to get eight, Charlie? Five. That would be five. Okay, by our commutative property, Charlie, three plus five is the same as? Five plus three. Five plus three. Mm -hmm. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, let's do one more. What is nine subtract eight? Now, don't get scared. What is nine subtract eight, Charlie? One. That would be one. Oh. Okay, Charlie, what do I add to the one to get nine? Eight. That would be eight. Very nice, Charlie. Now, by the commutative property, one plus eight is the same as? Eight plus one. Eight plus one. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, now we're ready to get to the focus of this lecture, adding negative numbers. Charlie, what's five subtract seven? Negative, negative two. Negative two. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, what do I add to that negative two, Charlie, to get five? Seven. That would be seven. Very nice. Okay, Charlie, now, by the commutative property, negative two plus seven is the same as what, Charlie? Seven plus a negative two. Seven plus a negative two. Mm -hmm. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, so we've seen now that seven plus a negative two is five. Okay, Charlie, look over there now. What is seven plus two? Nine. That is nine. And what did we just find out seven plus a negative two is? Five. Five, very nice, Charlie. So, we're seeing on our number line here that seven plus two is a what, Charlie? Nine. Nine, and seven plus a negative two is what? Five. Is five. Very nice, Charlie. So, going back to a regular subtraction problem, seven subtract two, Charlie, is what? Five. Five, very good. Now, Charlie, look at those two equations in the box up there, and tell me what you just learned. Well, if you add a negative two and subtract Five, so, okay, let me go but, ahead and translate for gosh. Charlie here. Charlie just said adding a negative two is the same as subtracting two. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, we know, Charlie, what? that's what you meant. Okay, so let's apply what we learned and do some practice problems. Here we go. Seven plus a negative two, Charlie. Seven plus a negative two is the same as doing what? Some subtract seven. Seven subtract two, right? Okay, Charlie, what is seven subtract two? Five. That would be five. Very nice, you can't miss that one. Don't forget to box your answer here. Let's do another one. How about five plus a negative four, Charlie? That's the same thing as doing what? Five subtract four. Five subtract four. Very nice, Charlie. And five subtract four is what, Charlie? One. That would be one. Uh -huh. Very nice, Charlie. Don't forget to box your answer. Let's do another one. Oh, what fun. Here we go, Charlie. Negative two plus a negative three. Now, don't get scared. Okay, Charlie, negative two plus a negative three is the same thing as doing what? Negative two subtract three. Negative two subtract three, okay. So here we are. We're gonna start at negative two, and we're gonna move to the left, to the left, three times. And where do we end up, Charlie? Negative five. Negative five, very nice. <laughs> Okay, we'll go ahead and box our answer. Let's do one more problem. Here we go, Charlie. Five plus a negative 11. Now, don't get scared. OK, 
Okay, five plus a negative 11 is the same as doing what, Charlie? Five subtract 11. Five subtract 11. Very nice, Charlie. So, we need to start at five, and we need to move to the left. How far, Charlie? 11. 11 times. Now, some students can do this all at once, but some prefer to work in steps. Here's what I mean. See, if we're at five, some students prefer to move five spaces first, because that takes them to the zero. And once you get to the zero, then you take a break. OK. Now, Charlie, <laughs> if we moved five spaces, and remember, we have to go a total of 11, how many more do we have to go? Six. Six more. Very nice, Charlie. So if we're at zero, and we have to move six more, where do we end up, Charlie? Negative six. Negative six. Right on, Charlie. OK. So we are seeing that 5 subtract 11 is equal to what, Charlie? Negative 6. Negative 6. Very nice, Charlie. Now, don't forget to box your answer. OK, now let's make a note of something here. If you're walking down the street and someone comes up to you and asks you, hey, what's 5 subtract 11? You should be thinking this. Well, I know 11 subtract 5 is 6. Therefore, 5 subtract 11 is what, Charlie? Negative six. Negative six. Uh. Now that's a good kung fu math move. <laughs> anyway, we're done for today, and we're going to take a break now and do our homework. Don't forget, Charlie, what? you better be keeping up with your homework. <laughs> and to all you students out there, remember, say yes to homework and no to drugs. Okay, Charlie, we'll see you all next time.